So part of living more sustainably is trying to reuse as much as possible and not trying to buy in whenever you can. This is the perfect example. We all know what this is. It's a baking grid and mine snapped yesterday. So you can see these little feet have come off so we can't really use it anymore. However, it provides the perfect opportunity to make a little hanging rack to dry onions, garlic, any bulbs that need to dry out. So I'm going to show you how you can do that and if yours ever fails, you've just found another way to repurpose it. Quickly, before we get into putting this together, my name is Craig. I am on a journey to live a more sustainable lifestyle. I don't want to become self-sufficient because for me that's not realistic but I can become a lot more sustainable with the way I live and this channel is all about my journey. I want to share my journey with you to empower you to start your own sustainability journey and that we can all share our journeys together, learn, fail, win, do everything and have so much fun doing it. So all you're going to need is your broken piece of grid, some string, I prefer to use nylon and twine, I don't, I don't find it works that well when it's exposed to a little bit of weight and sun and potentially a little bit of, of humidity, I find they do snap quite easily. I do have them on my tomatoes over here but for the hanging I'm going to use nylon and then you need a bunch of onions. Our onions, because of the weather, and if you haven't seen my garlic fail, I'll tag it up for you to have a look at. Our weather has been super weird. We haven't had heat. We've had on and off rain. We're in the middle, almost the end of November, and today it's been raining the whole day with 18, 17, 18 degrees. So onions, garlic haven't done well, but you're gonna need them nonetheless. So twine, onions, garlic, whatever you're going to be needing and a grid. Simple as that. The first step would be is to decide how long you want it. So I would say I want mine hanging about that high, which is fine. And then fold it in half four times so you get equal lengths. And then you are literally just going to tie it around each of the four corners that you want to tie on. Yeah, got your four corners tied up. You can see you've already got it. And then you want to just tie a knot at the very top. And there you go. It's just literally as easy as that. You can then either extend this with another piece of string. I'm going to hook it up at the top there in a bit. And then what you do, take an onion, slip it through. I'll do a few more just so that you can see. Yeah, you get the idea. And then all you're going to do is hang them up like that. They will then dry out with the ambient temperatures. Make sure it's not in direct sunlight. So our sun's arc goes over like this. The greenhouse never gets sun on the inside. So I'm going to hang it on the roof on the inside. It'll get light. There's a lot of heat in here. It's a little bit of airflow, which is perfect for our giants. You're not going to fit a huge amount but as and when you get them you can then just harvest them in little pieces like this hang them up to dry and you're done simple as that so this is just a quick little video to show you how you can repurpose broken household goods and as part of my sustainability journey i want to show you what you can do to be more sustainable with how we live this doesn't need to go to landfill it really doesn't it can be upcycled in so many different ways when we're done with this, I'm sure there's a 
few other ways that we can still use this. So when something breaks, when something doesn't work anymore, think of clever ways to reuse it so that we don't keep filling up landfill with things that can be reused. Hope you enjoyed this video. Quick, easy, simple. You need to give it a go. And if you've got any cool things you've upcycled, turned into awesome little sustainability or gardening hacks, please let me know, please share it with me. I'd love to see what, what you guys have been up to. Please subscribe to my journey so that you can see what I'm doing. Follow me as I go along, as I make mistakes, as I succeed, learn, develop, all of those things. If you liked it, please, please give it a thumbs up and, and share it if you've got people in your networks that you think would be able to learn from this. Until next time, happy gardening.